Hi friends, Tina did it here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how I made these candle holders. I think they turned out adorable so I had to share with you and I made these using glass jars from Dollar Tree. You'll see in a minute what I ended up using but if you want to see how I made these cute candle holders just keep on watching. And by the way, with the glass jars, the ideas are endless. I already have a few ideas in mind and you could always pop a light in there and I'll show you in a minute what I ended up doing. But if you wanna see how I made this candle holder, just keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with these three glass jars. Here is the barcode just in case you'd like to order it from online or you can find them in the glass aisle where they have the glass cups and plates in the kitchen section. But if you notice here, they are stackable, which is perfect for this project. I'm going to take off the lid and I'm going to take the sticker off in the bottom. If the sticker gives you a hard time, just put it under some warm water and it should come right off. And here I'm just grabbing a wipe and I'm wiping down the lids before spray painting them. I am going to go in with the silver metallic spray paint by Rust-Oleum and I'm going to spray paint them and wait for them to completely dry before moving on to the next step. And here is the spray paint that I used for the lids. Before I forget to mention, if you like videos that are straight on point and cute and simple projects like this one, and definitely affordable, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified every time I upload a video. And now for the jars, I'm going to go in with Mod Podge. I'm using the gloss Mod Podge and um, I'm going to just put it around the jar on the inside. Be sure not to do this on the outside because we want it smooth still on the outside. So um, we're going to apply Mod Podge in there and then we're going to be pouring the glass and the glitter in a minute. This Mod Podge dries clear. So if you see any white coating, don't worry, it will completely dry. Sometimes it even takes a day if you apply too much of it, but don't worry, like I said, it's going to completely dry and it's going to look amazing. Now as for the glitter and the crushed glass, I buy both of them on Amazon. This is the glitter that I used and um, the, you get a pound for, how much is it? For $11.89. So you get a 16 ounce, which equals to a pound. And this is the crushed glass and you get a pound and a half, I believe. And I ended up using the white one. So I'm just pouring the glass in now. I do have it in a bag because it's easier to work with. And then I'll be pouring in some silver glitter. And yes, I have them in different packaging because <laughs> I did use them from different DIYs. But anyway, you want to pour it in there and then we're going to twirl it. Or you can put the lid back on there and give it a shake. But still be sort of gentle because you want them to actually attach and stick to the Mod Podge. Now for your convenience, I'm going to put all the items that I've used down in the description like I always do and I'll put in there as well the link for the crushed glass and the silver glitter that I used. Now that I'm done with the first jar, I'm just going to close the lid and drop off whatever is extra inside the lid and use it for the next jar. Now I'm doing the same thing, Mod Podge and then throwing in the crushed glass and glitter. After it's completely dry, I'm going to go in with another coat of Mod Podge because you want to make sure you seal the glitter and the crushed glass in place. So be sure later on after it's dry, um, after all that white coating is gone, you go ahead and seal it with a top coat so that way it doesn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. 
Now, after everything is completely dry and I already applied the top coat, um, the seal for the crushed glass and the glitter, now it's time to glue them in place. Now, of course, you could make three of these if you'd like, so it'll be three, two, one, but I went ahead and only made two of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the jar that's supposed to be on the top, apply E6000 onto the bottom of it, and then stack it on top of the other one. I'm not going to worry much about gluing the lid just yet because I did discover something later on <laughs> where I put um, light inside and it actually looked amazing. So I might leave that as an option where I could put light inside of these jars and um, just click them. But I'm already getting other ideas for these jars. So just stay tuned. I might be using these in my future DIYs. And yeah, so if you do find these at Dollar Tree, be sure to pick up a few because I'm going to use them in my future DIYs as well. Now I'm using these tea light candle holders and I love these. If you watch my previous videos, you know how much I love, especially this one. So I'm going to show you the barcode just in case you'd like to order it from online. And um, the reason I like these ones is because they look like diamonds. If you see the little curving on them, um, the carving on it, it looks just like a diamond. So <laughs> this is why I definitely love this. It gives it a little pop, a little extra. So I'm just going to place it on top. You could glue it if you'd like, but I'm just going to place mine on top for now and I'm going to put my tea light in there. I might get battery operated tea lights later on, but just see in a minute when I apply, um, put lights inside the jar, how it looks. And that's pretty much it. Look how cute these look. And here I have it in my bedroom on the side of my bed, but the lighting isn't that great. So you can't really see it sparkle, but in person, this looks amazing. Plus I'm going to show you in a minute um, after adding lights in there, it kind of gives me an idea of making outdoor lighting with this. But let me know down in the comments what you think. I definitely love to hear from you. So be sure to stop by the comment section and let me know what you think. Here I just put a push light, the LED lights from Dollar Tree, and I just put it in there. And um, yeah, it's not that dark enough. So I'm going to take you to my closet and here's how it looks in the dark. I think it gives amazing lighting. And yeah, so be sure to stop by the comments and let me know what you think. This was such an easy DIY. You have to give it a try. Look at that. I'm right for you you don't get this anywhere else so be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more fun DIYs thank you all for watching stay safe and I'll see you all next time bye